Hey guys, it's Sam, and in this video, I'm going to be going inside this sucker once again. Now, if you saw one of my previous videos, I went ahead and unboxed this giant art kit from Artist Loft, and today we're going to look specifically at the colored pencils. Not these, not these ones. These are watercolor pencils. Today, we're just gonna look at just this side, <laughs> the the normal colored pencils, and make a little art and see how they perform. I'll be using my Arteza sketchbook to do all the art and swatching and stuff in. And if you guys want to see my review on this sketchbook or on Arteza's colored pencils, I'll put a link in the card as well as in the description down below. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so if I haven't said it enough already on my channel, I am not a colored pencil artist. I've dabbled a little bit with colored pencils in the past, but for the most part, I don't do colored pencil work, and I often can't because of my wrist. So this is just, just keep that in mind for my thoughts on these colored pencils. All right, so first thing I'm doing is swatching them all. I'm just swatching them in the order that they came in the case. I didn't bother reordering, reordering them, and not surprisingly, uh, the quality is uh, questionable. <laughs> and I can't remember Crayola pencils. It's been a very long time since I used them, but I would say they're definitely closer to that than Prismacolor, which I end up comparing them to Prismacolor just a touch in a little bit. But the big thing that stood out to me was the pigment and uh, the fact that the colors of the actual lead and the colors that come out when you scribble with that lead are not the same, and quite often the color on the barrel is actually not at all matching the color that comes out when you use it. So it's definitely very important, not even just with these colored pencils, but with any um, medium, any tool that you use to always swatch first, just to make sure you're, you know for sure what you're working with before you actually work with it, just in case you, you don't want to mess up any of your artwork. <laughs> Another unfortunate thing was that some of these colors are quite similar, and that's kind of unfortunate because then it's like you could have included some other colors, some other variety to kind of have variety, but um, like the magenta and the dark red are very close. There, there are differences, but they're still very, very close. The blue, the sky blue are like exactly the same. <laughs> I can't really see a difference. And um, the lemon yellow is quite uh, non-existent. <laughs> I had to press really hard to kind of see that one. And um, towards the bottom, I tried to test blending them together, similar colors and colors that are quite different. And then I also used some rubbing alcohol to see how they handle that and they kind of just dissolve ish in it i haven't i didn't really test it all too much but it wasn't like it was some blend like there wasn't zero blending but it was a bit of dissolving too so if you do decide to use these color pencils and you do use uh, alcohol i would just be very careful with how that goes i would do a lot of testing first to make sure you know what you're doing so at the bottom, I compared it with Prismacolor. I tried to find the closest that I could, but it was quite difficult. So the lemon yellow was really the main one I wanted to compare anyway, just because it's like invisible. Like you can't really see it. I guess it would be nice if you're doing like an underlying sketch and you don't want to use like a, a, an erasal pencil or you don't have one with you, or you just take this kit out and you, you I mean, it works nice to have like a quite invisible, um, color down so if you want to have a sketch first and then do your rest of your work on top of that the lemon yellow is actually very nice for that but um <laughs> other than that it's it's quite a not that pigmented color and in fact all of these are very much not at all that pigmented but just the lemon yellow one is the one that i find um the most not pigmented and it's actually just i don't know i find it amusing for some reason <laughs> anyway so um, oh, I also tried burnishing as well towards the bottom. I know we're we're past that section, but just wanted to talk about burnishing, and I don't know how noticeable it is on camera or th from my scan, but, um, and for those who don't know, burnishing is something that I really hate doing, and it's not even a last resort for me. Like, I just want to flat out avoid it. Um, it's when you crush the tooth of the paper, you can often ruin the paper, ruin your artwork, prevent per, um, further blending. If you're not careful, you can tear it. It can warp your paper. It's just not good. I know there are artists who do it and to really stand behind it. I just can't. I don't want to potentially screw up 
a piece of artwork that I spent a very long time on on burnishing. It's not worth it for me. I'd rather use things like alcohol, mineral spirits, just any other kind of blending aside from burnishing. But I did test burnishing just because one, that was really the only way to see the full amount of pigment from these colored pencils. And two, just to kind of see what happens when you burnish with them. And it's not good. <laughs> Um, I don't know how else to describe it aside from the fact that it seems to collect around the center of the burnished area and it creates more darker chalky looking um, effects which can be cool if you're going for something but if you just want to burnish just to burnish like that's not good and I tested it with the Prismacolor pencils which just have a smooth color throughout there's not any discrepancies but with the Artist Loft there is definitely some discrepancies with the burnishing and that's just a little bit concerning <laughs> all right so here is the um i'm finally talking about the picture that i'm drawing um this was as dark as i could go and i even slightly burnished i did like half burnishing and this was as dark as i could make it i had so many layers i tried so many things i even used workable fixative to try and get some more layers back and tried to go even darker, but the, the fixative did nothing. I still couldn't layer any more on top. It just wouldn't let me. So if you're into really light looking drawings, if you like to not really go dark or maybe stay in a more, it's not exactly pastel, but you know, just that more lighter looking, feeling artwork, like these could be nice for that because then you don't have to worry too much about burnishing because of, you know, <laughs> but it was very frustrating for me, especially because I love high contrast, like high contrast and I are like BFFs. So for the fact that I couldn't get dark was very frustrating. And I tried to avoid black just because black with colored pencils, I like, I'm not really used to it. And it's kind of difficult for me to kind of get a handle on it. It's not that you avoid black completely, just I, I don't really know how to use it that well with colored pencils. And I did end up trying to use it in the end and it just, it didn't really help. It just didn't really do anything. There wasn't anything more that I could do to make this darker. So kind of unfortunate because I really did like this reference photo and I really wanted to get that bright sky, like the, the clouds and the dark and I just couldn't get anything and it was frustrating and I ended up just giving up because there was just nothing more I could do. So I went ahead and just used the rest of the page to do some figure studies and I used the black colored pencil, which is arguably the most pigmented out of all of them. So it was very visual and easy to see on camera, which is nice. Um, but yeah, <laughs> definitely not the best uh, colored pencils I've ever used. I can't remember how they compare to Crayola. I'm, I'm a th I think Crayola is better, but I don't know by like how much. And um, I also don't know about Rose Art. That would probably be another company of an equivalent value to Artist Loft. But I think it just really depends on what you want to do. If you just want to dabble around and not really care, these could possibly work for you. If you do want to get into colored pencils and you do want to actually try with the medium, I don't think this is a good place to start. I think you'll end up being more frustrated. I think uh, Crayola would probably be a better place to start or Prismacolor if you can afford it. Those would probably be more entry level student grades that you could get into. But if you don't care, if you just want something to trash around, um, this one is probably quite nice for that and uh, probably what I'm going to end up using it for in the end. <laughs> Okie dokie, so that was my first experience and trial and evaluation and opinions and all that good stuff on the Artist Loft colored pencils from this art kit. If you guys want to see more experimenting and reviews on products from this art kit, let me know in the comments down below. And if you don't know what's in this art kit, I did do an unboxing, so you can go ahead and watch that video as well. <laughs> so yeah, like I mentioned, I'm probably not going to use them for like big projects or like details or things like that on pieces but in terms of sketching and like figure drawing and things like that like most of these colors probably except for the yellow <laughs> would um work just fine for that so i'll probably definitely be using them for stuff like that so they won't be going to waste don't worry so if you guys have ever tried artist soft colored pencils you can let me know how your adventures went with them in the comments down below if you have any advice for me since like i said i'm not a colored pencil artist i probably won't really do uh colored pencil stuff in the future but feel free to leave 
um, advice about colored pencils and things like that in the comments down below. And yeah, so I think that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you guys very soon. So thanks so much for watching. Bye! <laughs> Bye!